I don't think the bus wanted to leave. Anyway, off we go. Welcome guys. Uh, this is going to be a catch up video. We're going to get you up to speed on what's going on and, and what's going to happen next because this is almost in real time. We're getting ready to go back to Baja and I'm doing some bike service up there. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff to get ready. There is stuff absolutely everywhere. We are, uh, it's a giant game of, I want to say Jenga, but not Jenga, but where you got to move everything around. So we had a bunch of stuff in the zombie bus that had to get out, a bunch of stuff in the yellow bus that had to get out. So we're taking the yellow bus to Baja. Um, so it's officially empty of everything not going. Um, and we're working on filling it up. It's a bit chaotic. Yeah. Like I said, there's stuff everywhere. So we'll kind of explain what's going to happen with the bus build video because you see it over there behind me. Uh, we had to move into it. So that's going to be kind of uh, stalled. Also, we're not going to be here. So, but uh, we'll give you some shots of what's going on with that as well. And a little insight into our lives. I don't know. How many times have we moved this year so far? I uh, can't keep track. Anyway, we started off today in Victoria. We abandoned our three week rental, which came directly after our house sitting gig. Uh, we're now moving everything from that situation into here, into this situation. So before we even finish the bus, we're going to live in it for a while. Uh, we've got approximately 10 days before departure date heading south. Oh, uh, we were saying we, uh, we had to move the bus up and psh, that was fun. And then uh, we had to move into it uh, while we get prepared to go south to Mexico. So I'll just give you a quick tour here. We uh, picked up a couch uh, and then uh, we got some carpeting here, a workstation. We've got the walls as countertops at the moment. And we got a whole bunch of junk on top of the bed because today's project is we're gonna finish the wardrobe in the back of the bus. Uh, where the shower and the bathroom is going to be. And uh, one of the new bikes on our uh, plate that we're going to take to Mexico will probably include a uh, quick build at the end of this video uh, with some snapshots of what that's about and where it came from. And uh, one last thing, uh, I want to, uh, we'll do a little, little montage of uh, returning Travis's bike to him in the United States as he got hurt at the get lost, break your leg uh, <laughs> event that we had up here in Was. I mean, that was his event that he went to. Yeah. Um, we are making the most of it today. It has been the first day that it has not been raining uh, in almost a week that we've been here getting ready. And departure day is coming up. So lots to do. And uh, we're pretty excited. We're taking our little Mexi dog back, back to, to Mexico. Mexico. She doesn't know what that means yet, but she'll find out. But she's just going to be visiting this time. Yeah. <laughs>
always have great sponsors on board for this thing, like um, whether it's our summertime event. Um, I know I recognize some of you from our summertime event um, at Whiskey Creek, and whether it's there or here, we want Say good morning. Good morning. How's it going? Pretty good. Yourself? Good. Ready for some good trail riding? <laughs> yeah, are you leading? Trailing? Yeah. You're riding all intermediate loops this round? I don't know. Practice jumping some longs, backflips. Backflips. Um, well, we're all signed in. Got a t shirt. Scott looks like he's unloaded my bike. Hopefully, it runs. Your mechanic's doing all the prep work. Yep. It's pretty Doesn't spoiled. Stand. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. Awesome got... to see you. Hey, Brandy. I'm. get a little bit um so yeah let's go see what's for lunch look at all these muddy bikes just a bit muddy out there but the sun's come out so that's great i think so i think there's a vegetarian option or a meat oh, meat please <laughs> all the chicken yeah <laughs> tandoori chicken Yeah, we need the biggest ones. <laughs> okay, so this is how it goes. One person is on the other side of the bike holding their bike. Two people, one person on each side, takes the panties off. Oh, no. <laughs> takes the panties off. <laughs>
Jackson with the lovely ladies and a couple of gentlemen. Congratulations. So we want to give a shout out and we have some gift certificates uh, to halfway there. Uh, the ladies that put in the most work and maybe got the most skid marks, but they had the most heart. So now we're going to allow them to buy some new panties. And we're so proud of you. Tina, get up here. Get your gift certificate. Look at all this swag from the awesome sponsors. Tie down straps. Blue socks. This barbecue's dirty. <laughs> hey, Brindy Boo. Woohoo. What am I up to? Well, I'm going to tell a story, and it'll pertain to this thing here. <coughs> and uh, follow along. A very long time ago, uh, we took a, our very first trip to Moab, Utah, and Stephanie and I had just been dating for a short period of time, and uh, she wanted to come along. She had no dual sport experience, and she had no dual sport motorcycle, so she wanted to go buy something and then would sell it. She was still living in Europe, in Italy, and uh, we just needed a short-term solution so she could ride when we were in Moab. Uh, she was looking at a bunch of junkers. I'm going, no, 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 it's classic advice. Don't buy something super cheap. Uh, and uh, I said, hey, why don't we, get, this looks like a good fixer upper, DRZ 400, and put a little bit of money in it, and then we can sell it for profit, and you'll be way farther ahead. We talked to the owner, and he said uh, he really didn't want to get rid of it, but he didn't have the time or the resources to get it up to going and all that kind of stuff. I said, well, here's a deal for you. What we're going to do is we're going to give you first option to buy the bike back. We're going to do all the work that it needs, and Stephanie only needs it for one month. So here's the deal. We'll buy it for $1,000. You can buy it back for $1,000 and we did a whole bunch of work to it. We, we rebuilt it completely. Um, new bearings, new tires, uh, fork components, uh, handlebars, um, signals, brake. We went over the whole motorcycle to make sure it was safe for her to use. She rode it in Moab and it was her very first dual sport bike and there's pictures of it right there. And uh, at any rate, uh, we got back. The guy gentleman was very excited. He bought the bike back. He never used it. Ended up that bike uh, just sat around and it still had Moab mud on it when I saw it the very next time. He asked me to see if I could help sell it for him and we did. Sold it to another friend of ours. That friend, again, never used it. He had too many bikes. Uh, let the battery go dead. He asked me to come by and see if I get the bike resurrected for him. And I went, well, What's the buy now price? So we did a deal and uh, anyway, we got the bike back again. So this is the second time I'm gonna restore this motorcycle and follow along there's gonna be pictures and stuff like that. But this time I'm gonna go a little bit more special and I'm gonna build it into something unique. And I have this idea, I'd love to have a series of thumpers uh, that we could loan to friends and take on these adventures and use as uh, bikes to supplement the donkeys that we already have. And uh, I thought some real classic thumpers uh, would be ideal. And we can call them legends, like the legends of dual sporting. I was thinking an XR, uh, a DR, a uh, KLR, and uh, a DRZ. Well, I didn't think it would be the first one we do. But anyway, the DRZ you see behind me is getting a complete revamp and some cool parts. And we will make a distinctive, unique, and uh, it'll be the signature design for all of the bikes. And uh, my goal is to make them all look the same and confuse those people so that they don't know readily what they're riding until they've been on it. And it'd be kind of fun thing to talk about over the campfire. All right, got a big box of parts today. And I'm gonna go with the wiring harness next. And, uh, and you get to see what we've done.
My friends already teased me. I didn't catch heat for that. It was already on the bike. It's a pretty cool piece. And I might even get a dampener for it. But we will go extra cheesy and black Zeta top now. After a very long delay, uh, finally back on the DRZ project. Um, I was waiting for a replacement engine cover for the side because the uh, little blanking plugs and these things get all jammed up and I was going to replace the cover anyway. And when you can't undo them, you usually end up breaking them. Uh, and I have replacements for all that stuff anyway. But that's so that I can get in here and do the proper valve work uh, that I need. And you'll be able to turn the motor over to check the valves and in all likelihood replace the cams. A very long time ago, Stephanie broke this cover in Moab, Utah. You can see how it got cracked all the way through. We did a uh, putty repair trail side. We even cleaned it up since then a little bit. But anyway, it's actually held. Well, cover's installed and I did a valve check and the valves were all in spec, which was excellent. And then I decided, with giving some serious thought, I want to get the bike running first to give it a shakedown, check it all through, and then I'll start doing some more big modifications if necessary. I didn't think at this point throwing cams at it with no, no exhaust system and I hadn't even decided on which carburetor I'm gonna to fit to it yet. So we're gonna set it up so that it runs and then I'm gonna do some shakedown stuff and then I'm do a lot of homework before we start doing uh, any bigger changes to it, uh, like power control modules and stuff. Radiators fitted, uh, one hose clamp, I'm looking for a radiator. Going to go with an FMF power bomb header and hopefully make it up to an FMF slip on. Uh, they're not available right now, so this is kind of build it before it comes. The other option I have is uh, I have another slip on from a previous bike that I might be able to make work. So, one of the refresh items is a brand new clutch cable and brand new throttle cables, but I'm also going to fit the brand new clutch cable to a Zeta quick pull clutch lever. It's the same one I had on my KLR. And I really like them. They're pretty, pretty sweet. And they have a good feel. And they're really neat because they have this uh, quick adjuster on them. That you can uh, dial in and out as you heat the clutch up. So, okay, there's the coil. But we're going to have dielectric grease all these lovely connections. We're in the final stages of liftoff here at Cape Canaveral. Oh, no, Woo! sorry. <laughs> choppy, choppy. Titus has been nice enough to weld up my butchered exhaust system because, believe it or not, you can't get an FMF for a DRZ in North America right now. There's none to be found. He also mounted the front fender because he's got lots of choppy tools. still in Nanaimo we are about to load Travis's bike which is the last bike to be loaded onto the bus and it's back to rain we are very thankful for the non rainy days we had but today it's rainy um, we're gonna head down from Nanaimo to Victoria today and then hop on the boat tomorrow morning this is the plan uh, we've opted to, to use the truck to help load Travis's bike into the bus so we're gonna put it on the ramp, bring the ramp up to the door and then push it through the door. Wish us luck. It wasn't easy, but it went in. Well, the time has come. We are running away uh, to where it is warmer and less wet. It's absolutely coming down. The bus, everything is put away, ready to, to sit out the winter. 
And uh, we're getting reports it's already snowing. Uh, our friend Crystal Bucks is snowing in Courtney and they're saying advisories for the Malahat, we need to get South Island now. So I'm not gonna do a shot of us leaving. You know we're out of here, let's go. It is uh, quarter to six. We are uh, just about to arrive to Travis's house to drop off his bike. I'm sure he will be very happy to be reunited with it and all his stuff. <laughs> Delivery for Travis. How was the drive? Okay. Uh, the last part of it was really gross. Was it? But uh, as an yeah. AT owner, I know how important this would be to you to have it come home. Yeah, man. Thank you very much. And like, all your stuff. Yeah, good to see you again. Likewise. How are you doing? Uh, good. Uh, next update will be the 14th, and they'll uh, hopefully start allowing to be me to put weight on it. Yeah. So being my right foot, yeah. I can't even drive. Yeah. So. to Sean's house, ADV Oregon for the night. Let's go deal with that alarm. Oh, right, yeah. Woo.